Hello Unicorns, welcome back to my channel Tales of Unicorns. So in this video, you will be witnessing some of the most important places that you have to visit during your Mysore trip. But if you didn't know, this is the part 2 video. But if you haven't watched the part 1, don't worry, I'll add it at the end of this video. Also, I'll give the links for all my Mysore vlogs in the description. So if you have any queries, do drop them in the comments or you can also ping me on my Instagram which is also Tales of Unicorn. So to support me and encourage me, please do hit the subscribe button. Now, let's get into the video. First stop in the afternoon is Sand Sculpture Museum. It is located on the way to Chamundi Hills and the entry ticket is Rs 60 per person. These sculptures are made with intricate detailings using 100 plus truckloads of sand. It is the brainchild of M. N. Gauri, a leading sand sculptor of India. The next stop is Chamundi Hills. Located 13 km to the east of Mysore, it is named after the deity Chamundeshwari. The ride to the peak looks very scenic and the Chamundeshwari temple is located at the peak and they say it's open from 7am to 9pm but it's closed for some time during noon. done with my darshan and it was super crowded since it's Navaratri but the darshan felt so blissful, sorry blessed and divine and so what things are happening here, it's all festive vibes because of uh, Navaratri and it feels good to be here during this time. So if you get a 100 rupees ticket then two laddus will be included in your ticket itself so you, after completing your darshan you can come and get it over here. So most probably your exit will be over there so from there right opposite you have this laddu counter from where you can collect your laddus. My suggestion you can visit the temple during night as you can see the full lit city of Mysore from the top. Final stop for the day is Brindavan Gardens. I was late and was able to see the night view only but nevertheless it was completely worth it. Anyone coming to Mysore will definitely have this in their itinerary along with the Mysore Palace. This side is the south gate side and if you are coming in daylight you can witness beautiful flowers, bougainvillea plants, a widespread garden on the north gate. Overall, Brindavan Gardens should be a must visit place in your itinerary. So had a wonderful day today and now going back to Zostel. So the Zostel Mysore 2 video and the part 1 video of my day is already up on my channel. Check that out and this is the night view of the Mysore roads during the Sera. More info coming up in the next vlog.
So we have reached the end of this video and I believe I gave you some kind of valuable information but there are a couple more vlogs coming up about Mysore in the next week and I really believe that those vlogs will be fun, entertaining and informative as well. So to watch those videos please do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to my channel and also you can find me on Instagram which is also Tales of Unicorn. So let's have some interesting conversations over there. So I'll see you guys real soon in the next video. Until then unleash the unicorn in you.